Nikisha Waits and her colleagues supported Mayor Andre Dickens' initiative to fund at nearly $7 million a program to shelter migrants who make it to Atlanta. Right at the end of the day, uh, these are families, these are human beings. The Atlanta cash secured with a federal grant will go to a half dozen organizations who will feed the individuals, put them in hotels and meet other needs. The president decided to elevate some of the migrants who crossed over and give them a limited status. Good morning, good morning, top of the morning. Welcome back, welcome back to Regina South Section 8. Good channel, baby. Thank you for tuning in to my channel. Thank you for my 793 subscribers. I really appreciate you guys. I'm almost at the thousand, baby. But I wanted to come this morning because I got something to say. Do you know the mayor in Atlanta, Andrew Dickerson, and Andre Dickerson, whatever his name is, he is allowing the immigrants to come into Atlanta, Georgia. Do you know they're going to spend $7 million helping these people? Helping consist of housing these people in hotels, giving these people the resources that they need in order to survive. Now, excuse me, I'm outside this morning on the porch, you know, just giving a little fresh, natural air. But, um, and you're going to hear some car, motorcycles, you might hear somebody on their bike or their scooter or whatever. But anyway, my concern is, what about the homeless people? You know, they, they messed around and said that they were going to build like this homeless shelter on, I think it's Cooper Street in Atlanta, Georgia. So, a lot of people that live in that area or work in that area, they're against that. They don't want that to happen right there where they want to build it. But my thing is, you allow all these people, these immigrants, migrants, whatever you want to call these folk, into Atlanta, Georgia, and you're giving them all the resources that they need to live here, but you're not helping the homeless people that are outside sleeping on martyr benches. The homeless people that are outside literally, literally sleeping under the expressway bridges. You know, you're not helping them. You're saying that you don't have a place for them. Give them all the resources. You're gonna make sure they have shelter, food, clothing, jobs and let me tell you something about these jobs y'all now they got these immigrants coming from another country state wherever folk they coming from they escaping from where they were living because of the bad living conditions whatever going on over there so they coming over here if y'all, my people in Atlanta, Georgia, don't get up off y'all butts and grab these jobs, it's not going to be any jobs for us. You better grab your full-time, part-time, seasonal, weekly, monthly, whatever, weekend job. You better go ahead and grab it because you know these people come from other countries. They're going to be glad to work. They don't give a damn. They will work all day, all night to make an end meet so they can live here. They don't mind working. So all of these people out here, y'all been, you know, procrastinating about getting a job. A lot of y'all know that you need a job. You know, a lot of our businesses are not making ends meet at this time. So, you have to have a little sidekick job. 
if you don't go ahead and get that job, them immigrants, they gonna grab them up just like this. And they on the way. They on the way. They on the way. And the thing about it is, is ain't nobody speaking up about the homeless people that are already here. No one is concerned about them. See, they, 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 they just like family too. Listen now. Listen at the scenario of it. Now, we already got these people in Atlanta, Georgia suffering. Now, we got people, like I said, under bridges, sleeping on bus stop benches, sleeping in parks, sleeping in tents. And you don't want to help them. You don't want to give them their resources so they can live, you know, better than what they're doing now. You don't want to give them no housing, you know, no food stamps, you know. You don't want to help them get a job. You don't want to help them get a varsity, social security card, things of that nature. But when these immigrants come over here and they on the way, they on the way, you will rather help them with everything. And that's just like when it comes to family. You would rather let your family member outside suffer. And you have the means to help them. Same thing. Same thing. So with that being said, we as a community, we need to start speaking up for each other. Stop letting stuff happen like this. I, w I be praying that some kind of way somebody gets some kind of money, even me, even me, to open up some kind of place for these homeless people. Homeless people with children. This is more, this getting more and more ridiculous by the day. And for the mayor, a black mayor, Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. To not look out for the ones that's already here. I'm disappointed in you. And I'll be back. You know, I'm coming back. Numbers run high. The influx of migrants shown on your TV screens. It was a Texas governor frustrated with the Democratic administration in Washington who was first to try to change the equation and send thousands to northern cities. In New York, one of the landing spots, the bills and the population are piling up. I don't see an ending to this. I don't see an ending to this. This issue will destroy New York City. I reject that notion to use language that this will destroy the fabric of America. America was built uh, upon immigrant labor. Atlanta Councilwoman Keisha Waits and her colleagues supported Mayor Andre Dickens' initiative to fund at nearly $7 million a program to shelter migrants who make it to Atlanta. I spent several years serving with the Federal Emergency Management Agency. I stand behind this mayor uh, in terms of the decision to put this funding forward. At the end of the day, uh, these are families. These are human beings. The Atlanta cash secured with a federal grant will go to a half dozen organizations who will feed the individuals, put them in hotels, and meet other needs. The president decided to elevate some of the migrants who crossed over and give them a limited status. Work permits, you allow people to then, you know, they're seeking gainful employment, but you're not going to be deported. You're, you're sort of part of this economy in the United States and in the state of Georgia at this point, but it doesn't bestow on you citizenship rights, right? You, you can't vote.